Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about whole food versus synthetic vitamins, and specifically vitamin C. So vitamin C was actually discovered back in the 1700s in terms of the whole food source when the Scottish naval surgeon James Lind discovered that a nutrient found in citrus foods actually helped to prevent scurvy. So we knew that, you know, the sailors going from Europe, coming over to North America, definitely were suffering from this mysterious illness and it was discovered by James Lind that it was a vitamin C deficiency. So this was also rediscovered then and identified in 1912 by Norwegian researchers Axel Hoist and Theodore Froelich. And in 1935, then vitamin C became the first vitamin to be artificially synthesized. So it's interesting in the history that originally that extract from citrus was what was found to be very helpful for that scurvy and the vitamin C deficiency. And then of course it became more synthetic as the years went on. And of, of course, in terms of profitability, whenever you can make something in large quantities, in terms of a synthetic form, then that's usually what will prevail. So I really want you to check your vitamin labels and whether that's your multivitamin, look for the vitamin C. And then in brackets, it may say ascorbic acid or even calcium ascorbate. And that is a telltale sign of the synthetic form of this vitamin. And unfortunately now it's made from usually GMO corn syrup, as well as hydrogenated sugar, acetone. So you know the stuff ladies that we used to take our nail polish off, the acetone, which is, yeah, has maybe some toxicity issues, as well as hydrochloric acid and often sulfuric acid. And the acids are used to actually extract that ascorbic acid from those original GMO corn syrup starters. So again, something to think about the next time you're reaching for your vitamin C or your multivitamin that it quite likely is made of the synthetic form of vitamin C. Now the problem with the absorption of synthetic nutrients is that not only is it questionable in terms of safety for long-term consumption, especially of antioxidants, of vitamin C being one of them, but more importantly, it's lacking its natural cofactors. So in nature, and this is why I prefer to take vitamin C in a whole food form, so whether it is from camu camu berries, which are actually 60 times more concentrated in vitamin C as compared to oranges. Or acerola cherries is a great other source. They're also known as Barbado cherries. And this is fantastic because they're 13 times more concentrated in vitamin C as compared up to oranges. Also, amla berries are very high in naturally occurring vitamin C, but the thing that makes them so highly absorbed and its increase in bioavailability is that in nature, of course, in fruits and vegetables, the vitamin C is complex, so it's still ascorbic acid, but it's complexed with all of those other phytonutrients. So those phytochemicals, which are good chemicals, they're naturally occurring in the plants themselves, actually help and work in conjunction with that ascorbic acid from that whole food source to ensure that it's properly absorbed and used by our metabolism. So that's the big distinct difference. So taking synthetic vitamins, of course, it's always your choice but taking synthetic vitamins versus whole food my in my opinion going the whole food route the way that mother nature intended us for us to get our nutrients is really important now the other thing is that for instance in citrus fruits it's known that the citrus bioflavonoids so these are some of those accessory nutrients that are naturally occurring in citrus fruits they help with that absorption so often they're mostly highly concentrated in the pith so in that white part that's on the outside of an orange or a lemon this is where the citrus bioflavonoids have their highest concentration and that actually helps with the absorption of the vitamin C another nutrient that helps with the absorption and bioavailability is also quercetin so this is another thing that you can maybe look for in whole food vitamin sources especially for your vitamin C so I hope that you learned something new I want you to check your vitamin labels at home whether it's your multi or your vitamin C supplement and see if it says you know maybe it is that synthetic form the synthetic 
synesthetic ascorbic acid. So check that, it'll say vitamin C and then in brackets ascorbic acid. So just so that you know, and that's why I share this information to enlighten you and really educate you about, you know, really knowing about what you're ingesting in your vitamins. I hope that you've got some questions or comments, so please leave them below in that comment section below. And also make sure that you share this video. I appreciate all of your likes and your thumbs up. Thank you so much for that. And if you're new to my channel, make sure that you're subscribed and you turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell. So you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today. Thank you.